Hello Future Investors and welcome back to another weekly episode. I hope you're all doing well and I hope all of your investment goals are going to plan. Now today I want to talk to you about premium bonds and I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm going to get straight to the point. Now premium bonds are the British national uh, government backed uh, savings account essentially. It's backed by the uh, Her Majesty's or now His Majesty's Treasury so it's 100% safe and your money is at a very low risk if not at no risk at all. Now it's a form of savings account that instead of paying interest it pays out interest in terms of winning bonds. Now let me explain how it works very quickly. So you put your money in the account and every month there is a draw, multiple draws for different values of money, all the way from £25 to £1 million. And the, the reason they can do this is because instead of paying interest on everyone's money that is in the accounts, they take that interest and they do a massive lottery every single month where thousands of people win all ranges of money that I've just explained. Now, premium bonds work like this. You can have a minimum of £25 in your account and you can have a maximum of £50,000 in your account. And each bond would essentially be £1. So if you've got £1, you've essentially got one bond number. If you've got, say, £20,000, yes, you've essentially got 20000 bond numbers. It's exactly that. You would have 20,000 bond numbers. Now, that can technically be looked at as 20,000 raffle or lottery tickets. Now, as I said, every single month there is a draw. And if you've got, say, £20,000, that's 20,000 bonds, which equals 20,000 lottery tickets. That's essentially the same as you going down and buying 20 euro million, 20,000 euro million tickets every single month, year upon year. So it's a fantastic way and a really fun way of saving money. I personally have it myself and I really enjoy it. Now we know there's better investments that you can use your money with. You've got gold, the best hedge against inflation. You've got index funds like the S&P 500, a very low risk with potentially a great reward at the end of it thanks to compound interest over a long-term investment. But me personally, while having those other investments, I like to keep money in my premium bonds as a holding area while I'm saving up for another investment. In this case, it would be a buy-to-let property. But in that time of holding that money there, I get a lottery every single month. I get the app and it tells me at the beginning of each month if I've won it essentially reveals the results and says you haven't won this month or you have won this month. It's a really fun way of holding some money in an account that unlike a bank account with extremely low interest rates, you're not really going to gain anything and it's certainly not fun. And I do like to say that it is important to keep investing fun because you can get tunnel vision when you get really focused on investing. And sometimes that does take a lot of the fun out of it. And when it stops becoming fun, that's when people stop trying to make wise and smarter investments. Now, I want to explain to you why I rate premium bonds so much. So now we understand what premium bonds are. I'm going to explain to you how I believe they're really, really good from my own experience. Now, I opened my NSNI premium bond account in 2021, the 16th of August. So that is literally just under two years ago. But for the sake of ease and for you guys to remember, let's say I've had my account for two years. Now, in those two years, I have had a variation of money in there. I've had all the way up to £50,000 and all the way down to £25 when I opened my account. And uh, I will say that the more money you have in there, the more chances you have of winning. And the reason for that is for every £24,000 or for every technically 24,000 bonds you have in there on paper, you theoretically should win at least once a month. That's your odds, 24,000 to one. Now, having had the experience of having well under the odds of say £25 in there and having well over the odds, uh, I can tell you that it is true. And the more money you have in there, the more frequent you are going to win. Now, having said that, you can have £25 in there and you could theoretically win the big prize of £1 million. So it's not impossible, but it does go to show that the more money you have in there, especially past the point of £24,000, your odds of winning every month dramatically go up. 
Now, as I said, I've had my account for two years. It's been great fun checking the possibility that I've won small or maybe massive amounts of money each month. Now, to prove this fact, I'm going to add some uh, screenshots of my own real winnings since opening the accounts on the 16th of August 2021. I have won a total of £850. I mean, that's astonishing. And this month, I will be totally honest, I won the biggest amount I've ever won in a single month. I won £525. I won £125 on the bond draw uh, at the beginning of uh, July, which was for the month of June. I won £125. I was ecstatic. And recently I got uh, credited in my bank account £400. And it turns out I got the letter today from the NSNI premium bonds. And what happened was somebody actually won that £400, but it wasn't claimed. And uh, the money never got put into that account. I'm unsure why but they, they obviously didn't tell me, but I can only assume maybe that person's passed away, their accounts become redundant, maybe they don't have a bank account anymore. So there's many reasons why it probably didn't go to that person. So that left them with £400 that they had to redraw in a prize uh, throughout the month. And I was a lucky winner. So that meant I won £525 this month. So of course, I was absolutely ecstatic. And that now brings my total of winnings to £850. And in my opinion, I think that's fantastic. Having money in what you would call a savings account for less than two years, just under two years, it works out at £425 a year. Now, I can take this money out of my NSE, NSNI premium bonds account anytime I like. I can withdraw it right now, and it takes only a couple of days to get back into your bank account. So you're not even locked into something that you can't withdraw your money. So to figure out that I've had £850 technically interest on my money that I've had in my accounts. I'm very pleased with that because if I was to keep that in the bank account, I would not have had anywhere near that level of money come in on interest, not even close. You would have an you would have to have an astronomical amount of money to get a return of £850 on a generic savings account with your standard high street bank. Now, we're not talking about index funds or um, secure ISAs that give you a slightly better return, but you lock your money in. We're talking about something that gives you complete access to your money. It gives you the chance to win massive amounts of money every single month, be it large or small. And in that meantime, you're just saving as well. So I really rate the premium bonds. It just goes to show from my own personal experience, I have been lucky, but I think you also do make your own luck by keeping money in there and trying to build up that pot to give you more chances of winning. So I highly recommend premium bonds. I think if you're looking for a very, very low risk um, place to store your money, maybe like I do uh, while I'm saving for a specific investment, I think it's a great place to hold that capital because, you know, it's fun when you check that result every month and you can potentially win masses of amount of money. You know, I've just won £525. It's pretty cool, I've got to tell you. So you can argue, yeah, but you're not getting any hedge against inflation. You're not, you know, benefiting. You're not putting it to a good asset. Yeah, that's all very good arguments. But at the end of the day, that money for me personally is being saved up to work towards a much bigger overall investment. If you're someone that's actually not into investing, maybe you want very low risk places just to store your money, then this would be the perfect place for you. Maybe you're not interested in buying gold. Maybe you're not interested in investing in low risk index funds or high risk crypto. Maybe you just want somewhere to stick your money and get more money in terms of interest than you would in the bank account. Well, if that's the case, in my opinion, NSNI premium bonds are probably a good bet for you. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I, I, I'm a big uh, fan of them, as you can tell, but uh, you may not be. So let me know in the comment section below. If you've watched all the way till the end, thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I appreciate it a lot. Please leave a comment, leave a like. And uh, yeah, big shout out to the channel members, all the premium future investors. We've got a lot going on the channel now. You can find all of those guys. Their links for the uh, premium members will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, I will see you all in the very next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. To watch another episode on future investments, click the link now.